So in this demonstration, we're going to take on, all right, the idea that there's physical and there's chemical changes that are occurring. Okay, so I'm going to start with propane. I have propane in a tank, it's C3H8, and I'm going to push it through basically a colloid here and I'll make some bubbles. And I want us to recognize what physical properties we have with these bubbles. Okay, so without further frost here. All right, so I'm going to push out some gas and I'm developing a bubble here. Now the question is, what kind of physical intensive properties can you come up with these bubbles? Well, let's see. Is there a color to this gas? So you would say the color is colorless. So if I gave you another gas that had a color, could you use to identify propane? Yeah. Absolutely. Can you give me another physical intensive property? I for what? Right. What other physical intensive property can you guys come up with? I came up with color. See if my solution works. What's that? Circle? No. Come on. Mass. Can I identify things based on mass? The bubble go up or go go down? Therefore, it has what kind of density compared to air? Low, lower? Higher. Things sink because they have what? More mass per area. Right? So if I had air bubbles and I had propane bubbles, could you guess which one is the propane? Yeah, by the density. How about a smell? Now, propane, if it leaks, has a smell because... We put a smell in there. Propane actually has no smell. So I'm going to ask someone to help me right now. See if we can test a chemical property. Who wants, who's brave enough to help me? me. All right, Kara, let's go. I'm gonna, now, hold on, Kara, you need some protective eyewear. This goes with your outfit, not really. Yes, you're going to stand right here, Kara. You're, you're going to promise not to point the candle on me. Okay, I do not want to undergo a chemical reaction. Okay, so I'm lighting the fire here. Just let you fire. All right. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to wait for the bubble to come down to you, and you're going to light the bubble. I don't know why I have a test tube in the way, because I'm just weird, I guess. Okay. Hold on. Yes. So we're going to put this to the side. And again, you don't stick that anywhere near me. I stick that into the bubble. Okay. Now we're ready. All right. I couldn't reach that. Very few things I can't reach. So here we go. Here comes some propane. And we're going to make a propane bubble. And we're going to test for its flammability, its ability to react with oxygen. OK? And we're ready to make a bubble. And here we go. Yes. <laughs> OK, she brought up Jesus. OK. She got religious all of a sudden. OK. OK, hold on. So what could you say, what could you say in terms of flammability? Okay. Travel, <laughs> travel council has spoken. Okay. Hold on. Again, let's see. Start from scratch. I don't like that term, start from scratch. If someone's cooking from you, starting from scratch, I'm not going to eat it. <laughs> it's like, I'll start with clean hands first, please. <laughs> All, right. All right. Here we go. So here comes the bubble. It is definitely more dense than air. It's colorless. These are all physical properties. What are the chemical properties? Oh, Christmas in July. <laughs> all right. What are the, what is propane's chemical properties? It reacts with what? Look at the reaction above. Reacts with, reacts with fire? No. It reacts with oxygen to make, see, here we go. <laughs> Jesus is back. Okay. <laughs> Let's do one more because that's a lot of fun. Would you say it is flammable? Now, is that a chemical or a physical change? Chemical. Chemical, why? After it burns, do I have the same? No. No, now I have what? We have a twin here coming. Almost got me. 
Yeah. It's all good. All right. Thanks, Kara. You want to want to stay there for me? Now this is going to be hard. You bring your candle up. All right. So now we're going to stop the propane. Now propane is a dangerous gas. We use it for barbecues. We use it for what? Stoves. And if there's a leak, it's such a heavy gas it fills the room from bottom to top. It's very dangerous to have around because if you've got a spark and you fill a room like water with a heavy gas until you have enough. That little bubble can be your entire house. Houses have exploded with that. Now, what I'm going to use next is the second reaction. I'm going to generate. This is zinc. I'll put the lights on. This is zinc. It's a metal. You can hear it. It's a solid. Atoms are packed. What makes zinc unique, guys? Don't say hydrogen or carbon or anybody else. Hydrogen. What makes it unique? What makes zinc unique? I'll write your pass, Carrie. Don't miss this. What makes zinc unique? Cameron. Uh, Cameron, sorry. It's an atom that has a different circle up there, but has a different number of protons. So I'm going to generate hydrogen. They don't allow me to have it because it's a gas that loves to react. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some hydrochloric acid. That's the HCl, HCl you see up there. And I'm going to react it with zinc. And I'm going to make a gas. So I'm generating a gas, so you guys can see. Some of that's condensation. But wait a minute. I'm now going to try to make a bubble of hydrogen. Now, bubbles of hydrogen are harder to do, so let's see if I can make it under the pressure. Bubbles of hydrogen should be lighter than air. So I'm looking at a different density. So my question to you is, how can I identify hydrogen with propane? How can I? Why am I starting low? You can start up high. Up. You gotta, no, 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 don't worry about it. You gotta get the bubble when it goes. Oh, Christmas is going. <laughs> One more time. Like afraid of, like, burning you. Don't, you're we almost anyway, so don't worry about it. <laughs> At this point, you might as well just go for it. Here we go. No, put yours high because it's going to come to you if I do this right. Now, did that go up or down? So it's lighter than what? You put the candle Now, the question is, did it, did, it, did it explode the same way? No. No, it did not. How did it, how did it burn? Faster or slower, you think? Faster. Do you want to cook with this? No, because no, you'll be cooked with it. See how it's popping? Hydrogen is very explosive. Okay, we'll do one more. Make the bubble really big. I'll try. I feel bad now, work. Chemical change or physical change? I'm making H2 gas from zinc. Chemical. Here we go. It's coming. Oh, anticipation. You still heard it pop a little bit, right? Yeah, it's going to come to you, Kara. All right, here we go. Christmas in July. It's hard. This gas is such a light gas, it doesn't like to stay in the bubble. Right, the fact no, I'm good. I I like a little waxing once in a while. <laughs> Manscaping. Okay, go up, go up. It's going to come to you. All right, I'll try one more. I know. How do you know I have to go? Well, that's something I figured out. Oh, okay, cool. And I just got waxed. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. Good job. Thanks, Karen. All right, so clearly that gas is different from... Propane because of what ke a chemical property? What was different? Oh, I started with a different component, sure. Different chemical reaction, what else? People noticed, did it blow up the same? It popped a little bit. So it's more combustible than propane. Notice propane burned outward. 
We could, we could cook with something that burns a little outward, right? This blew up in a little pop, something you don't want to cook with. What about density? Could you identify the bubbles? Yeah. If I gave you two bubbles and you know the gases are hydrogen or propane, and you saw one go to the top or one go to the bottom, could you figure out which one? Yeah. Yes, therefore density is what kind of property? Intensive. Intensive, physical, good job, guys. See you tomorrow, you got a lecture and a homework paper.